Prime Minister was too afraid to stand up and answer it and debate me. The question was about the cost of the second carbon tax. We know that the Prime Minister's first carbon tax will cost 41 cents a litre at a net cost to average families of over $1,500. But that's not enough for him. He wants a second carbon tax, which will add even more costs without any rebate at all. We know that he t told falsehoods about the first tax. Will he finally have the guts to stand up and tell us how much his second tax will cost Canadians? The Honourable Minister of the Environment. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. If you'll allow me, I will read from the Conservative Party of Canada's election platform from the last election, the platform that this party stood and spoke to Canadians about. And I, I, I'm quoting from page 78, Mr. Speaker. Our plan will ensure that all Canadians do their part. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm starting to hear chatter again. I'm having a hard time hearing the answer. And it's coming from a certain point. I'm sure they don't want the next question to be swapped with the last one and have someone very special to them. The Honourable Member for Lethbridge, apologize, please. Apologize to the Chair for interrupting. Very good, thank you. Now, I want to remind all of you to have some respect for this chamber. That includes the Honourable Member for Timmins James Bay. No, I don't want to hear, t no, 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 I'm not. I, I just want to say I hear his chattering throughout. I just want to ask him to keep it down and stop, please. Now, we'll go back to the Minister from the top, and I want to see everything calm down. The Honourable Minister, please. Mr. Speaker, the Leader of the Opposition and many members across have called me woke before. And if woke means standing up for the future of my children and grandchildren so that they have access to clean air and clean water, then so be it, Mr. Speaker. If woke means standing up to create jobs for generations of Canadians and investing in a clean economy, then so be it, Mr. Speaker. And if woke means standing up for the rights of women to choose, then so be it, Mr. Speaker. The Honourable Leader of the Opposition. He's woke, and so Canadians are broke, Mr. Speaker. And I'll tell you what woke means in practice. I'll tell you what woke means in practice. His government approved dumping millions of litres of raw sewage into the St. Lawrence River. That's what woke means. Woke means charging a single mom higher costs to drive to work and feed her kids while the Prime Minister jets around using Canadian tax dollars pumping emissions into our atmosphere. That is the woke hypocrisy across the way. And if he's got the guts to tell the truth, will he tell us how much will carbon tax to cost Canadians? The Honourable Minister for Families. exceptionally disappointing from the Leader of the Opposition is that at a time when families in Alberta are experiencing some of the worst wildfires in their history, he's railing against policies that are helping to fight climate change. Mr. Speaker, when he talks about that single mom, unfortunately he has opposed sending her the Canada Child Benefit, which has put thousands of dollars in her pocket. And he's also opposed the child care agreements that are supporting families across this country save thousands of dollars. Mr. Speaker, when it comes to the environment, when it comes to supporting families, we know where the, where the leader of the opposition is. The Honourable no. The Battle of Vimy Ridge united Canada as a nation through the service and sacrifice of 3,000 1,598 Canadian soldiers. Terry Fox's Marathon of Hope leaves a legacy that lives to this very day for our nation. And Nellie McClung pushed our nation forward with more uh, equality and human rights as a suffragette leader. But instead of honouring the great moments in our country's history, these Liberals are instead focused on man with wheelbarrow and squirrel with nuts. Mr. Speaker, why is this Liberal government so intent on erasing Canadian history from our passport? Yeah. The Honourable Minister for Families. How the Conservatives acted when they were in government. They spent more time on symbols than on action, Mr. Speaker. When it comes to our veterans, what did they do? They closed nine veterans' offices across the country. When it came to cancer, what did 